So, how is everyone doing? So, I hope all of you and your families are staying healthy and safe, especially during this challenging time. So, I am Marco Nanan of Health Carousel Philippines, one of the members of the DAISY Committee. And with me this afternoon is Ms. Emily Santos, also a member of the DAISY Committee. So, both of us are actually nurses. So, this is really close to our hearts. So, together, we will be your host for uh, this afternoon's program. So to start off, uh, I would like to acknowledge each and every one of you for attending this special event, particularly all our nominees for the SED Award. Emily? Okay, so we are proud that our company has a partnership with the foundation which gives the most prestigious award for nurses worldwide. Okay, so as a nurse myself, I am very happy that deserving Filipino nurses will now have the opportunity to receive this award. So to give us a brief background of DAISY Award and its partnership with Health Carousel, may we call on Health Carousel Philippines President, Ms. Connie De La Cruz. Thank you, Ems. Good afternoon, everyone. Maayong hapon sa inyong tanan. Thank you for joining us this afternoon for this virtual but meaningful meeting. For better understanding and appreciation of DAISY Award, I am delighted to give its background and short history. The DAISY Foundation was established in 1999 by members of the family of Patrick Barnes. He was 33 years old when he died of complications of the autoimmune disease. Due to his loss, the Barnes family wanted to do something positive to the nurses. As the family of Patrick brainstormed what the Daisy Foundation would do, they kept coming back to the extraordinary care Patrick and his family received from the nurses. Daisy means it is an acronym for diseases attacking the immune system. All right, so it is the nurses' kindness and compassion that made a great difference in the Barnes family experience. And they wanted to say thank you to the nurses for their extraordinary care they provide to patients and families every day. So this DAISY Award is created for extraordinary nurses. Nurses who demonstrate genuine compassion and care in everything they do. What started out as a thank you from Patrick's family to nurses has grown into a meaningful program embraced by thousands of healthcare organizations around the world which includes the Philippines. And in coordination with our US principal, Health Carousel US, we are highly proud and delighted to partner with DAISY Foundation. This enables us to hand out the prestigious DAISY Award to deserving and inspiring nurses here in the Philippines. Through this award, Health Carousel Philippines will be able to promote excellence in nursing practice. DAISY Award is our way of honoring our nurses and promote excellence in nursing practice. There is no more appropriate time to start this program than this year. As our country continues to face the challenges brought about by the current pandemic, giving this award will be more meaningful to celebrate the work of nurses for all the hard work and sacrifices they have done to protect and save people's lives. So good afternoon. Thank you, Mom Connie. That was uh, truly inspiring. All right. So for information of everyone, there were 26 nurses who submitted their stories to Health Carousel Philippines. But the committee members have already have only selected eight nominees who have demonstrated exceptional care to their patients, patients' family, and of course, as well as with their colleagues. So these are the nominees. Okay, so let's start with Maria Divina Escano from the Medical City, Pangasinan. We also have Mary Ann Pichai from General Miguel Malvar Medical Research Foundation Incorporated, Quezon City. John Rafael Inco of Dr. Jose M. Rodriguez Memorial Hospital and Sanitarium from Caloocan City. Mary Grace Rivera of Rizal Medical Center, Pasig City, and for Melisa Buaya of Congressman Simeon G. Toribio Memorial Hospital of Carmen Bohol. Alvin J. Bentier from Metro Lem Lemery Medical Center, Lemery, Batangas. May Ani 
from the Doctors' Hospital Incorporated of Bacolod Negros Occidental. And last but not the least, Cheryl Ong of St. Luke's Medical Center, Quezon City. So all nominees will be receiving a daisy pin, all right? So my dear nominees, okay, are you all excited to hear who gets the first daisy award from Health Carousel Philippines? All right, so to give honor to the 31st recipient of Health Carousel Philippines daisy award, may we call the president of Health Carousel Philippines, Ms. Connie, and the daisy award coordinator, Ms. Naira, to announce the very first daisy awardee of Health Carousel. Thank you again, Ems. So after a short review of all the stories submitted to the committee, we have selected one exceptional nurse who got the top score based on our criteria. Health Carousel is proud to announce that its first awardee for the DAISY Award is... <laughs> For Melissa Puaya. Congratulations for Melissa. Congratulations. Okay, so just to be clear, okay, you are not just one of the nominees for Melissa. Well, in fact, you are our very first awardee, so congratulations. Okay, so now, uh, to read to us the story of for Melissa, may we call on her international program advisor who submitted the story to the committee, Ms. Zarina Caparas. Zar? Hello. Thank you, Mark. Okay, so I'd like to share with you guys the story given by my candidate for Melissa Boaya, or as I always call her, Forms. So this is the story. <laughs> Last June 6, 2020, I had my shift from 12 a.m. to 8 a.m. Before I ended my shift, I was surprised to receive a letter of thanks from the daughter of one of my patients. I was not expecting to receive one because I knew I was just doing my work as what I used to do. Though the letter really melted my heart and inspired me more to be diligent in my work. To understand this delightful moment, the story goes like this. It was morning of June 5, 2020. An 82-year-old female patient was admitted in a hospital due to depleting red blood cell and platelet counts. They refused to be referred to a tertiary hospital in the city because of their fear of exposure to COVID-19 cases. We catered the patient's needs and encouraged the relatives to procure blood, especially the platelet concentrates, as soon as possible so we could transfuse it immediately to avoid spontaneous bleeding. During our ward endorsement, the PM shift nurses told me that they received six bags of platelet concentrate at 10.30 in the evening. I was the only nurse in the medical surgical ward on that shift, handling 19 patients, and I tried my best to transfuse the six bags of platelet concentrate. With the help of my nursing aide, I was able to monitor the response and progress of the patient on the blood transfusion. I started transfusing the platelet concentrate at 1 a.m. and consumed the six bag at around four in the morning. I can't imagine how I look on that shift. I really doubled my time to the best of my ability. I did the blood transfusion and at the same time attended the needs of my other patients. I was really relieved and very thankful to God when I satisfactorily and safely transfused all the six bags without any adverse reaction manifested. After the transfusion, my monitoring for the said patient continued. I made sure that she was free from any post-transfusion reaction. I was with her at her bedside most of the time on that shift. I didn't take any nap and hardly took any food just to make sure she was safe and comfortable. A bit, I, feel, I felt like I was bombarded with tons of works and I was working against the clock. Fortunately, everything went well. At the last hour of my shift, I gave... Uh, sorry. Okay, I gave the endorsement to the receiving nurses of the, um, of the AM shift while my nursing aide did the patient satisfaction survey as what nursing aides used to do every after shift. I was astounded when my aide suddenly interrupted our endorsement and handed me the letter of gratitude from my patient. 
I was really not expecting anything because for me, simple act of saying thank you is enough for us nurses to feel that we are valued and appreciated. Upon reading the survey that contained a short thank you message, my heart was filled with joy and all the stresses and burnouts that I was carrying on that shift suddenly replaced with relief and pride. I felt the same way too. I also wanted to give thanks to the relatives of my patient for making me aware and feel that they counted and highly appreciated my service. Simple thing like this drives us nurses to continue our calling, which is to render selfless and heartfelt services to humanity. The thank you note from the relative has this message translated in English. From the bottom of my heart, I would like to thank Nurse Boaya for her genuine compassion in taking care of our mother, though she was already tired and has no rest. Thank you, ma'am, and God bless us all. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much for that, Zar. Again, um, congratulations for Melissa. Indeed, that was a truly inspiring account of how nurses like you, like many others out there, fulfill, fulfill their sworn duties to save lives on a daily basis. So now, uh, we, the members of uh, DAISY Award Committee of Health Carousel Philippines, will now be presenting the DAISY Certificate and other items for our very first DAISY Awardee for Melissa. Mom Connie? Thank you, Mark. So for Melissa, congratulations again. So you will receive this certificate. And I'm honored to um, read the certificate for you. So this is the certificate. And it says, the DAISY Award for Extraordinary Nurses. This award is presented to for Melissa Guaya, registered nurse, in deep appreciation of all you do, who you are, and the incredibly meaningful difference you make in the lives of so many people. Signed by the co-founder and chairman of Daisy Foundation, J. Mark Barnes, and the coordinator of Health Council Philippines for Daisy Foundation, Naira Colinares. Thank you and congratulations again, Lord Melissa. This is for you. And this is the Daisy Award pin, the stepmother of uh, Patrick uh, Bonnie noticed that nurses have this tradition of wearing a pin in the hospital. So they created this pin to be given to the awardee to wear in the hospital. This is for you, for Melissa. Thank you. All right, thank you, Mom Naira. So uh, this is called the healer's touch, okay, for Melissa. And this is also for you, all right? So what a perfect representation of the bond between nurses and their patients. These sculptures are hand-carved by artists in Zimbabwe. And each piece is signed by one of the many Shona artists that the Daisy Foundation supports. As you may know, the economy and politics of Zimbabwe have been in turmoil for decades. And the artists are able to support hundreds of people in their families with this work. Thank you. Thank you, Hi, for Melissa. So there's also a gift bag uh, information. So we, here it goes. Yeah. So it's highlighting um, the benefits and opportunities uh, that you receive as an awardee. Oh, thank you. Uh, but for Melissa, wait, there's more. <laughs> there's more. We are also sharing with you Cinnamon roll, which is Patrick's favorite treat. So the message in sharing the cinnamon at every presentation is this. Whenever you sm smell a cinnamon roll, whenever you taste one, whenever you think of one, or if you are baking with cinnamon at home, please remind yourself how special you are. Whenever you are just doing your job and not doing anything special, you are making a positive difference in patients and their family's lives. You are making the world a better place because you were a nurse. And we, and together with the Daisy Foundation, salute you and honor you for Melissa. Thank you, sir. All right, thank you so much for that, Sir Kenji. So again, for Melissa, congratulations for being the very first awardee of Health Carousel. 
Yeah. All right. So, by the way, I would like to inform you that we are currently recording this ceremony and we will use the video for publication in the website of Health Carousel and the Daisy Foundation in print and in social media. So, we will also share it to other media and nursing organizations for their publication. All right. So, now let us hear a few words from the leaders of Health Carousel as well as Congressman Simeon G. Toribio Memorial Hospital for our awardee. Hey, Ms. Formaliza, my name is Earl Daltman. I am the Chief Nurse Officer for Passport USA here in sunny uh, Cincinnati, Ohio today in the United States. And um, I'm reaching out to you today because you are our very first winner of the Daisy Award for our public health care cell brand. And that is a, an incredible, amazing honor. Uh, I've had a chance to look over your story, um, and I see how our family has reached out to you about your incredible act of sharing uh, around uh, blood transfusions and all the incredible you work the, uh, that you did that night. Uh, I think that's an absolutely amazing story. Uh, no doubt you feel like it's something that you do every single day, um, but you're, in my eyes, a hero. You're somebody who's making a difference. Um, the work that nursing does is uh, extraordinary, um, and you are certainly that, an extraordinary nurse. We are beyond delighted to be able to say that you are our first DAISY Award winner. Um, certainly in this, uh, the uh, Florence Nightingale Year of the Nurse 2020, um, no better time to recognize fantastic nurses such as yourself. The DAISY Award has always stood for recognition of great nurses at the bedside through their professionalism, their dedication, and clearly their hard work. Uh, we're incredibly proud of you. We're incredibly honored that you are our first DAISY Award winner. Um, and on my heartfelt thanks, I just want you to know um, we appreciate what you do for your patients every single day. Good luck, take care, take care of one another, and um, we are cheering you on. We're incredibly proud of this honor. Take care. Hi, Formaliza. My name is Christy, and I am one of the nurses here on the clinical team and also serve as the DAISY chairperson for Health Carousel here in the United States. I am reaching out to formally congratulate you on the first DAISY Award honoree for the Health Carousel Philippines office. Your story demonstrated how you provided safe care to a patient requiring multiple transfusions during a particularly difficult shift. You explained how you safely infused the blood products, continuously monitored your patient, and was able to care for additionally 18 additional patients. This dedication and commitment to your nursing practice exemplifies your calling to care for others. Many nurses, when they receive a DAISY Award, say, I was just doing my job. But in this case, you made an impact upon the patient. You made an impact upon the family. And for this, we thank you. Continue to do what you're doing. Thank you for all you do. Congratulations. All right, so thank you, Earl and Christy. Okay, so now may we call on the president of um, Health Council Philippines, Mom Connie, to give us an inspirational message for former Lisa. Thank you again, Ems. So for Lisa, I know that, uh, uh, I hope that you're happy. And uh, on behalf of the team of Health Carousel Philippines and Health Carousel US, uh, congratulations for getting the DAISY Award. Uh, this is extra special because you are the very first nurse who got this award in the Philippines through us, through Health Carousel. And looking at your story, it is indeed very inspiring. You are indeed an extraordinary nurse. And we thank you for what you do. Hope this award will continue to inspire you to do exemplary deeds, and we hope that you will inspire other nurses, especially in your hospital. Again, congratulations, and we would like to thank Congressman Simeon G. Toribio Memorial Hospital, your supervisor, your co-staff, and the management of the hospital. When things get better, we will try to visit your hospital and meet with you personally. After this awarding, your name will be registered to the DAISY Foundation which means your name will be included in the prestigious rosters of DAISY awardees from around the world. So again, 
Formalisa, congratulations. Always stay safe and healthy. Thank you, Ma'am Connie. And of course, to give us an inspirational message okay, to Formalisa from Congressman Simeon G. Toribio Medical or Memorial Hospital, I'm sorry, may we call on the officers. Um, Mom Deborah, Chief Nursing Officer, and Dr. Josephine, the Chief of Hospital of Congressman Simeon Toribio Memorial Hospital. Hello, good afternoon. Uh, today I'm so happy for your success, Ms. Formelisa Guaya. Congratulations for winning the DC Award. I wish you more many awards in your life. <laughs> this is the beginning of your success and I wish you all the best for your future achievement, and that's all. Thank you. Thank you, Deb. <laughs> Congratulations, Congratulations Forms, for your award. You deserve it. And also, thank you also for the Health Council Philippines and the Lacey Foundation for the recognition of our staff. And I'm very proud because I'm also a nurse, despite a nurse and his father. So I'm very proud of her and know also his, she's worth the award. Thank you very much and congratulations. And uh, hope you will be safe. We are all safe with this COVID pandemic. Thank you very much and good afternoon. All right, thank you so much everyone for the congratulatory messages. So of course, I hate to put you on the spot, but we'd also like to hear a short message from our very first award, Daisy Awardee, Forms. Um, but actually, I don't know because I'm not really expecting that what we have written, the story will be like, will be, to be put into a contest because I just wanted to share my story as well. I'm, I know I'm not just the one who experienced those kind of heavy duty, stressful duty. I know all of my workers here, all of the nurses here, since we are under staff, all of us we encounter those kind of shifts. Like sometimes some of them will also be will also be um, like alone in their shift, and we also. I know we, all of us here, we are worthy to be recognized as an extraordinary nurse. But it was very overwhelming that I was chosen to be the first AC awardee. I'm not really aiming for this, but I am very, very thankful. And I don't know what to say because nobody told me about this. I'm not expecting that you will be awarding me in this way. So even my boyfriend, he didn't tell me anything. So I was really, really surprised and I'm very thankful. And from this day on, um, actually from the moment I passed the Philippine nurses exam, I promised to myself to do my duty, to do my profession as a nurse by heart, not by, not by anything, but by heart. And now that I received this prestigious award, I really told myself this time, that I will continue what I what I am doing, and I will continue to serve humbly with all my heart, in all humanity, in all races, without any bias or with any without any discrimination. And I will always treasure this moment. I will always treasure the award, whenever wherever part of the globe I may be into. I'm really really thankful to Health Carousel, to my Indian family, and to the Basic Foundation Award. I'm really, I don't know, I'm really lucky today. <laughs> Thank you everyone, good afternoon. All right, so congratulations once again, Melisa, and you know, you deserve you deserve this award, okay? And of course, we would also like to thank everyone for joining us today in this momentous event. We really appreciate that you took the time to be a part of this important milestone of Health Carousel Philippines. Thank you to the members of the committee for the hard work in selecting the exceptional nurse for this award and making this event possible. Earl, Christy, Mom Connie, Mom Naira, Sir Kenji, April, Mark, and yours truly. 
Thank you also to the officers and staff of uh, Congressman Simeon G. Toribio Memorial Hospital for all your cooperation. To Chief Nurse, Ma'am Deborah, thank you so much. To the Chief Hospital Officer, Dr. Josephine, thank you. And Administrative Officer, Mrs. Dedima, maraming salamat po. And of course, special thanks to Ms. Riza Salarde for accommodating all our requests and assisting us in the preparation. Also, of course, we would also like to thank our very own Zarina Caparas, who submitted the nurse's story for our recipient today. This award uh, wouldn't be possible unless you take time to collect and submit the story. And it means a great deal that you care enough for, for Melissa to do this. So thank you once again and congratulations. All right. Thank you for that, Emily. So uh, the final thing for us to do is to present you and your hospital the DAISY banner that will be hanged in your unit for the next month, celebrating you, of course, forms. So this is the actual banner uh, that will be posted in your unit. So there you go. All right. So we will send this banner, including your certificate and the other items, to you forms. Okay. So in closing, um, in behalf of all of us here at Health Carousel, uh, I want to say a personal thank you uh, to everyone, especially to some of you who had chosen nursing as a career for your skills, for the care, for the compassion that you give to your patients every day. And of course, to you forms, from one nurse to another, I'm really proud of you and congratulations. All right, so may you continue um, to be a source of true inspiration uh, for all your patients, for all your colleagues, and basically for all of us. All right, so that's it for us today. So in behalf of my co-host, Emily Santos, we thank you everyone for being with us. May you all continue to be safe and healthy. 